Hi, this is Jason Rulo with Pinnacle's blog. Uh, let's call this blog uh, Food Revolution. This is blog number 18, blog video number 18. And uh, I'm going to cover various topics, but uh, the first topic is uh, a new TV show, reality TV show that I saw last night. Uh, and this one's actually got some merit, and I think it's going to be pretty good for, uh, for most of our clients and for the American public in general to see. Uh, at least much more so than, uh, than something like The Biggest Loser, where um, reality is uh, a figment of their imagination. Anyway, the name of the show is called uh, Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. Uh, he's coming to the United States from England, uh, where he's, I guess, uh, a pretty big uh, nutrition and uh, cook and pretty big star as far as the media is concerned, written books and done different shows and things like that. Um, but he's going to come over here and show us yanks how to cook healthy meals, I guess. Although the Brits aren't, uh, the English aren't as, uh, as healthy as uh, many countries in the world. In fact, they wouldn't say they're much better than us. I guess uh, he is a, a, somewhat of an expert in this uh, regard as far as revamping like kids school lunches and things like that. So. Um, but the whole point is uh, he's going to show us the reality of what we're eating and um, how bad it really is. And just watching the intro show the other night, or last night, it's, uh, it's, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good show. It's definitely worth seeing. If you missed it, you can go to Hulu.com. i got the link on, uh, on the blog, and you can click on that and go see that. And the uh, actual episodes, I believe, start Friday night. Uh, apparently, he's going to be going to different, different school, I mean, different... Uh, cities in the U.S. on different episodes and, and going to basically uh, try to revamp our eating that way, but it's definitely something you need to check out. It's really a microcosm of American eating and American attitudes toward nutrition and food, and uh, at least in this initial episode it was, and uh, it's definitely going to be a good thing to, uh, to take a look at. Uh, number two, assessments. By now you should know you need to schedule your assessment by the end of this month. Um, we're going to get, we need a new assessment for everybody. If you've had a recent assessment, like in the last two months, you don't need to worry about it quite as much. Um, but if you haven't, time to get it in there. Get it scheduled with your trainer. If you're at Monsanto, you can get it scheduled in there with the wellness center and uh, kind of go from there. If uh, you need some additional assessment, assessing, we'll go ahead and do that for you. But um, the main thing is get it done by the end of March. Otherwise, I'm going to come looking for you. Um, to go along those same regards, May 1st, is the second Armed Forces Fitness Challenge. Now, whether you want to do uh, Army, Marine Corps, Navy SEAL test, the Army test is push-ups, sit-ups, and a two-mile run. Uh, Marine Corps test is uh, pull-ups, their, their curl-up test, or a three-mile run, Navy SEAL test, which is not for the lighthearted, um, is a 1,500-meter distance on the Versa Climber to take place with their swim test, push-ups, sit-ups, and uh, pull-ups and then a mile and a half run so you can cut anything out that you can't do because of physical injury or whatever the main key is to get yourself assessed to give you something to shoot for we're gonna do it on May 1st we're gonna do it again probably somewhere around uh, the 4th of July weekend like we did last year and we're gonna try to give you something to shoot for to break to break uh, break points you know get yourself a little bit further ahead so that's something to also uh, be looking forward to the interval workouts, which I mentioned last time. You can contact me to get those 15-minute interval workouts. Uh, I'll get them to the trainers here uh, in the next couple of days. But uh, if you need to get them right now, go ahead and, uh, and contact me, and I'll make sure you get those, uh, anybody interested. Again, those need to be done either prior to, immediately prior to, or immediately after your workout. Uh, the trainer has to actually see you do the workout. He's not going to sit there and watch you the whole time, but he actually actually know and, and kind of observe from afar that you are doing the workout. Uh, as it's supposed to be done. Um, Monsanto people, the email has been restored to the trainers. Not by Monsanto, I had to go outside and get a, another email provider. Uh, but basically, uh, you can now contact your, your trainers while they are on campus by email. That does not negate the 24 hour cancellation policy. If you do tw cancel, uh, actually 48 hours, I'm sorry. 48 hours, if you cancel, it needs to be by telephone. You cannot email but you can still email to do all kinds of other uh, necessities. Um, also, uh, I had a chance to be at the Arnold Fitness Weekend last weekend in Columbus, Ohio. I go there, it's an annual trip for me and uh, a few of my friends, and um, was uh, basically selected to do a commercial for a new product that we actually have here at the fitness center, uh, out here at um, our, our, our fitness center in Chesterfield, uh, Grip Force. 
It's a uh, grip strengthening devices that uh, that'll help clients who are a little bit weaker in the grip uh, train for. So basically, uh, I did a challenge they had there, and they wanted me to to film part of a, a an info quite quote unquote infomercial commercial on YouTube. So if you want to check that out, I'm um, at minute two minutes and forty eight seconds into the video. They do about a a, a minute talk with me, um, although they spelt the name of my facility wrong. They called it medical. Uh, personal performance training. That's what happens when it's really loud. They can't hear very well. But anyway, uh, you can get you can get a uh, get an idea what those things are all about. You want to see a quick video of that? Um, like I said, I'm at two minutes and 48 seconds. If there's a link on the blog about that as well. Um, lastly, the Bear Crawl Rock Fitness Challenge. This week, I had a client ask me, you know, what can I do as a easy interval program? I said, like, well, do the Bear Crawl Rock Challenge. Do a Bear Crawl Rock which if for you as you don't know, it's three laps of uh, 10 yards down and back uh, in a bear crawl, followed by 10 push-ups. If you can't do regular push-ups, then you do them kneeling, uh, followed by 10 up-downs, and then 100 jump ropes. You do that as fast as you can. And this client, I recommend the client, well, then you know, do it a certain number of times. Well, for you guys, for a challenge, let's make it two times. Two times in six minutes or less. That means you have to average under three minutes You'll get a slight break if you don't average under three minutes. Let's say you do average exactly three minutes per round. You're not going to get any break. But if you can get it under three minutes, let's say you get it for two minutes and 20 seconds, you'll get a 40-second break, and then you go again. Um, I'm not sure you want to cut it that close, but that's essentially what you have to do. Do two sets of the Bear Crawl Rock, which I'm going to demonstrate just real quick here. Um, but get, try to get two sets in under six minutes. If you can do that, you're right where you need to be. Basically, like I said, Bear Crawl Rock, you're going to do Bear Crawl. If you're at Monsanto, they've got it taped off. We'll get it taped off at Covidian. Um, but, uh, and if you're at your home, we'll go ahead and make sure that we know the distance on that as well. But bear crawl, something looking this nature here, we're gonna go all the way down and all the way back. I'm gonna get 10 yards. I'm gonna go 10 push-ups, just like this. 10 up-downs, just like this. Then grab a jump rope. Get a jump rope 100 times. The idea is, like I said, get two in less than six minutes. In case you want to know, I did 10 in 30. That's the same pace. So if I can do 10, you guys can do two. At least challenge yourself, see what you can do. Thanks, and we'll be, uh, I'll be uh, up again for the, the recipes this, uh, this coming Wednesday. Hope you guys are checking those out. Get any questions or comments, please let me know. Talk to you later.